Here's my beer. Sweet. Um... G'day Hannah, I thought for your 10th birthday I'll do, I'll, I'll do something a little bit special and so I'm going to make you a birthday cake and I don't know if, I don't think I've ever made you a birthday cake before but I've had a bit of help from Mindy and we've measured things out pretty good to start with so I just thought I'd make you a quick video of me making the cake, I hope that sounds good so the first thing we do is we cut up the butter and we just go chop 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 and Mindy said you want to get it into cubes that are like one centimetre, but you don't really know what a centimetre is, so I figured whatever, it can just be whatever. It's all over my hands, it's all, and I'll cut that one smaller. I've done that one on an angle, so it's like a shark fin. Okay, so, ah, uh, that's the butter, and then the flour, we measured this out to be real exact, okay? So that can just sort of buff in. Um, now, do you, we'll put, no, nah, okay. We won't put a bowl in. Now, uh, the recipe said we need an egg. So I've got one egg, so we'll just... Oh, it's got all the shell in it. That's all right, I've got... I can save that, because I've got some more egg shells, so I'll chuck those in too. So now you've got one egg and three egg shells. Does that sound good? Okay, I'm just reading the recipe here. It says to break off a couple of bits of cauliflower, so... Oh, thanks, love, that's great. So, so chuck... Chuck some collie in there. Are you sure it's your cauliflower? Yeah. Okay. What other sort of flower would it be? Uh, oh, you probably. So that's the cauliflower. I won't chuck that bit in because that bit's the gross bit. Um, and a cheese. So. Oh, the cheesecake. It's not a cheesecake. It's a, it's a chocolate cake. And if we're lucky, which we are, because we're gonna eat your cheese while we're going. But if we're lucky, it'll look like a horse. So. Oh crap. Um, so we'll chuck a couple of Q-tips in now. Not many people know this. This is just my own secret family recipe that I made up. So it's not really a family recipe. But the, oh, I want more cheese. <laughs> well, I had yucky. I had an egg on it. Um, the the Q-tips it just helps it digest better. Next thing you're gonna want is mm -hmm. a whole cheese, whole ton of baked beans. Actually, before we add that in. How do I open that up? Can you open the cheese for me? Mm -hmm. Get rid of that wrapper. Thanks. So the next thing we're going to add is we've got our tin of baked beans. So it's going to go straight in. But we're just going to give it a wee stir with our cheese stick, okay? See, we're just stirring that in. Stirring that in, okay? Now that's full of vitamins. It's going to make this cake go from mmm, pretty good, to mmm, it's got baked beans in it, okay? Do you understand? You looking forward to this? I can see you. I can see you just going, oh, I can't wait to eat this amazing baked bean cake. Okay, I'll chuck the rest of that cheese in and that bit's for me. Oh, all right. Okay, next thing we're going to want is some pearl barley. I don't even know what pearl barley is until earlier today. And to be honest. How much pearl barley are you putting in? Oh, a, a sprinkle. Oh, okay. So, the thing about pearl barley is you always put too much in your hand by accident. So you just want to throw it in the air and only put in what you catch. Just like that, okay? Put that in. Oh, it's gone everywhere. But I think we're getting pretty close to everything we need to go in. Now, it's said in the recipe to add a washing up brush, but I don't actually want to do that. Oh, Mindy, can I get some scissors? Can I get some scissors? So, you're going to want to chuck some cornflakes in here. So, we'll just do a little bit. We'll just count it. One, two, three, four. That's about 500 cornflakes. Practical. Now, in most kitchens, there'll be some plants around, so you just want to take a wee clipping, a couple of wee clippings of the plant, and they go in. Now that's just for flavour, okay? That's not going to add any texture. It's not necessarily going to add any vitamins. But what it is going to add is just that something extra. Now, it wouldn't be a chocolate cake if we didn't add some cocoa. So we'll get the cook. It's everywhere. I've got too much cocoa. Uh, hang on. Uh, I'll, we'll just... We'll just dump all the cocoa in anyway. That'll be fine. Um, now those are yucky, so they can just go in there. Uh, is there anything that we're missing out? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Biscuitties. So we've, we've got about, I don't know, 20 or 30 spaghettis there. So the good thing about spaghetti is they can just go off each. Oh, you milk. You need some more liquid, love. Milk, 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 milk. Okay. So uh, I think we're running a bit short on milk. So we'll top you up with some beersies. Okay, because you're 10 now, because you're 10, 
a little bit of beer in there for you. Um, have we got another cup? We've got a. Oh, just this. This is perfect. So you need some hot water in there. You can add cold water, but then you're not going to have a hot cake, okay? Got to have hot water in there, okay? So we'll get some hot water in our baked bean tin, of course. Mix that in, and we'll probably do one more cup. Is that about a cup in there? About a cup of baked bean water? Yep. About a cup of baked bean water in there. So I think that's almost about ready to go. Um, but I'm going to. Oh, hang on. So just use the metal one, Pop? The metal what? The metal piece. It's just the other side. Oh, yep. So it's to really help with the biscuits. I'm going to have to push my alarm here to get some help uh, because I don't know how to get this on for the cake mixer. Okay. Can you help me out? What's the thing called? I don't know. Alarm? The beta. There you go. Oh, okay. So. Oh, looks. It's awesome, eh? So, close it up. No, we're good when it's cooked. All right. Watch out that the biscuits don't fly everywhere. That'll be sweet, eh? Here we go. So that's just doing its cake mixer thing now. Might need to break them up a little bit. Nah, they'll work it out. I believe in them. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> just sort of chuck them back in. I wouldn't believe the cleaner came earlier today, would you? This is blooming some cooked sheep. Oh, it's a cornflake that flew out. Oh my gosh. What, what do we think about putting floor spaghetti back in the cake mixture? You get it in there. Oh, do you have a band aid? Ah, oh, it's alright. If you don't have a dirty one, it's not worth it. So, you just want to get that to go for what feels like too long. And you want it to go. Oh, yeah. Did you know about that? So it's really slopping up around the sides now. Yeah, okay, I think that's, that's pretty good, eh? Boy, that smells so good. Hannah, you're gonna. You're gonna love this so much. Okay. Do you wanna give the camera a shot of what's oh, inside the bowl? Geez. Yeah, I'll bring the bowl over, eh? Oh, where's that other bowl? This is. Four. Okay. Oh, so you remember that night you went to Chinese dish and then had a spew afterwards? Well, it probably looked like this. What do you reckon, mate? So, let's get that into the pan. The cake cooking, baking, whatever it is pan. Slot that in there. Oh yeah, that sounds like a real good spew. <laughs> oh, sh yeah. Get that in there. And then we'll just get a little cake scraper because we don't want to leave any behind because it's very good. Oh, it's so good. Oh, you can see the Q-tips floating around. That's cool. Um, oh, let's just rinse that out. Just, it's good to clean as you go, Hannah. Very good to clean as you go. I've made a bigger mess now. I won't lie to you. So now we're just going to chuck that in the oven at about 200 for That's about 180. At about 180 for 180, which is three hours. Is that right? You only need 45 minutes. 45 minutes. So, can, oh, oh, can you turn the camera just so we can see me go into the oven with it? So we'll just pop that in there at 180 for 45 minutes and let's let's come back shortly and see, and see what we've made. Hi Hannah, so we're back at the oven now and it's, it's nearly finished baking your birthday cake. It's been nearly 45 minutes. It's got about 15 seconds to go. So we're going to be able to open up the oven, take the cake out, and hopefully it's all risen and done what good cake stuff should do cake good good. And you'll have a lovely cake. Okay, we've got two seconds. Mindy, would you like to do the honours with the, with the oven? And let's see, let's see how this comes out, shall we? Oh yes, this looks great. Yep, just as we thought. Oh, there we go. How does that look? So that was exactly 45 minutes, and I think it's come out just perfect. Happy birthday, love.